Could it be you calling me down? Packing, planning, and flying are often the most difficult parts of any vacation. Here is how I condense down these tasks into a much more manageable routine. First and foremost, my main goal when traveling is to immerse myself in the culture. For me, the best experiences have come from exploring and getting lost. By wandering, I've come across the best views, food, and people. While there are plenty of tours and must-see historical landmarks, most of these places are riddled with tourists. I personally like to set aside a single day to do a few touristy things, then after a day of long lines in crowded places, I've usually had my fill. When it comes to packing, I like to stick to the basics. Basic pieces are versatile and allow you to have a dynamic wardrobe that can adapt to a more relaxed itinerary. Starting with shoes, comfortable shoes are simply a must. Besides the trainers I wear the day of travel, I also pack a pair of sneakers for variety. If your vacation involves sand and water, don't forget the sandals. In addition to jeans and chinos, I also like to pack a pair of shorts for warmer destinations. The rest is up to you, just be sure to pack enough shirts, underwear, and socks for the duration of your trip. The Kondomari method of folding works great for packing, especially since my clothes are already folded using this method. The roll method will work here too, just try to keep your clothes on a single layer. This will give you a filing cabinet like layout that makes it easy to get dressed at a glance and prevent you from overpacking. Moving on, the day of travel can be overwhelming as security lines, layovers, and delayed flights can quickly ruin a vacation. Since you can't control delays or extended layovers, get a good night's rest. Don't expect to catch up on sleep during your flight. A good night's rest and solid breakfast will keep you patient when dealing with any unexpected complications. Finally, the hardest part of traveling is the flight itself. Unless you are lucky enough to fly business class, economy class can put a lot of strain on the body. Upright sleeping positions and cramped spaces can be uncomfortable and make it difficult to fall asleep. To fight in-flight fatigue, first I like to get up and walk every couple of hours during the flight. A short walk along the aisle can help reduce stress and anxiety. Since we are creatures of habit, practicing routines you would normally do before bed can help further reduce stress and prepare the body for sleep. I like to pack my toiletry bags inside my carry-on bag so I can use my toiletries during the flight. I'll use the airplane lavatory to brush, floss, and wash my face. All things I would normally do before bed that better help me relax while on the plane. For my last tip, don't forget that cabin air is very dry, so apply moisturizer after washing your face to keep oils under control. All that is left is to sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of your flight. I hope you enjoyed this look at my travel routine. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm foolish, huh?